Jackie Singh, the pests, have uh, struck a blow to the stellar uh, reputation and widespread critical acclaim for Jesse Singh and her hacking, her hacking, a uh, miss but legal, hacking but legal uh, career as an internet commentator. Um, they have found court documents which indicate that she is, in fact, the dumb fat hoe that everyone knew that she was. Let's look, chat. Uh, Jackie Singh says he's a stalk. Uh, he's a lot. He's lying. He's a stalker who normally targets stealthy geek, but he's angry about my work targeting the cult he runs with. They are now a nuisance targeting me at every opportunity. Mentally warped. Oniforms. I like saying oniform instead of O N A. Because oniforms kind of sounds like own a hole, and that's funnier. Uh, oniforms trolls creating false docs and disinfo attacks against me via replies on Twitter. Hilarious Kremlin like. <laughs> <laughs> oniforms is, is Kremlin. Okay. The Department of Oniforms in, uh, in, uh, in Moscow. Uh, because they keep accusing me of vice crimes drug addict bad mom broke living in squalor horror bad daddies on the lamb criminal running tour swats uh, running tour swats is not a vice crime it's just a regular good old-fashioned crime uh so this is a pest on zitter he says lied about her liabilities she has 10 hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to the irs and credit card companies but she listed her toilets at 58 will refer to my po posting of public documents as stalking as she digs into my life, making false accusations without evidence, calls it OSN or open source intelligence. And yes, she is one running the tour spots telegram to knowingly frame an innocent Swedish man, but he came pregnant twice while married to men who were not her husband, uh, has been unemployed for years, lives off the taxpayer, lies about being a cyber sec expert, ruins innocent lives. Scumbag Jackie's divorce documents are 100% legitimate. She is lying, and you can find them here at payquasi.lol slash osint.pdf. I will be stalked, harassed, falsely accused of crimes for posting this, so I would appreciate it if you would download it and spread it everywhere you see fit. Well, that is an invitation. Let's check out payquasi.lol slash osint and see what she's up to i actually have screenshots so this is a very big document which it appears to be this is massive now in particular the highlights are uh her age is 38 her income is zero she's unemployed uh her full total gross income for 2022 is ten thousand uh, dollars she gets nine hundred and fifty dollars a month in disability if anyone would like to take a educated guess at what this fat cunt's disability is uh, please go ahead and do so in the chat now. Uh, she swore in her penalty that there was one child born to this marriage, to wit, uh, the wife was pregnant at this time. The parties have stipulated that husband Jason T. Stokes was not the biological father of the child, nor is he the biological child father of the wife's child born in date. No further issue contemplated between the parties. Uh, so he was married to her, and she had two children with different men that were not him. That's impressive, actually. That's impressive levels of hoe. Um, the police were called once to our home in Milton. Milton, Florida? Oh, my God. It's such a small world. <laughs> it's Milton. I've, I've driven through Milton a thousand times. Hold on. Is that, where, is that where I think it is? I'm going crazy. I want to double check. Um, sorry, I, I tried to use the DuckDuckGo maps and that did not work out for me too much. Why is my internet slow? Why is everything so slow? Okay, now it's working. It is. It's right next to Pensacola. I knew it. I drove through Milton all the fucking time when I was driving from, um... Like from Niceville to Pensacola. Okay, let me show you this actually, because I, I want to um I want to identify for you what I'm talking about. Oh, let me load this. It's gonna take forever to load because for whatever reason my internet is fucking dying on me as I desperately try to hack this out. Okay, great, cool. Um, so I have lived both variously here in Pensacola, here in Niceville and I um worked 
Oh, that's Dustin right here. Okay. So I was, uh, I worked right here in San Dustin. So, um, and my friend also lived over here by San Dustin. This is where the Whataburger is at. Um, can you see my mouse on this? Can you? Okay. Oh, I can click and show you. Okay. So this is where the Whataburger is. And this is where, uh, my friends were at. And this is where I lived for a little while over here. Um, and that's actually where that exactly where I clicked is where I got my first speeding ticket and it embedded in me a deep hatred of police forever and ever. Amen. And this is a uh, flow rider and I live somewhere over here too. So Milton is right here. It's sandwiched between, um, Flo uh, Niceville and Florida. Now you have two options to get to uh, Pensacola from Niceville. You can go south and cross the sandbar. Don't do this. Um, this highway where the, the, the on the thin strip of land, um, that is, is that 95? No, it's not 95. I forget the name of this road. It's a it's a highway. Uh, it is the most shit-ass fucking road in the world. They are constantly doing construction on it. It's two lanes. Um, it is one of the most miserable conditions to ever drive through ever. If you drive on this road, you will be in pain. There will be no end to your torment or agony. Um, so if you're a, a true Floridian, if you want to get to Pensacola from Niceville, you will go up to Crestview and cut across through Milton into... Uh, Pensacola to avoid the agony of of this of driving down. Everyone wants to drive down and see the beautiful beaches, the scenic highway. Uh, you do that if you enjoy agony and suffering and, and misery. Um, so this is where she's from. This is a shithole. I want to let you know this is a very 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 poor place. It's next to a city literally called Baghdad. Um, this is a fucking shithole. Uh, but a lot of people who either work at the um, uh, Eglin Air Force Base here in Niceville or at the um, at the what's the name of the naval base in pensacola will live in if they're poor they will live in either crestview or milton and stay out of the this you can't if you work in the military you cannot afford the sandbar um this right here destin this is the richest city in all the united states per capita there are more uh more millionaires living here than anywhere else in the country it has the highest net worth of residents than anywhere anywhere it is the richest place it is an extremely extremely upscale and um a prohibitively expensive area to live in uh, so here is your here's your review of florida yes seriously that that's today i just showed you the richest place per capita in the country it is really staggeringly because that's where like all the um, so, so all the super mega wealthy people who have the luxury of travel will resi will s buy a house in Destin, like a, like a small beach shanty shack. Um, like th there's, um, very, very tiny houses that all have walking distance, like right, right here and stuff. They all have walking distance to the beach. So they'll buy a, um, a small house there that's like over a million dollars and they will have, um, they will resident there because Florida has very, very low taxes. So they just buy a summer home, um, they make that their primary residence, and then they avoid a fuck ton of taxes by doing so. And because Destin is such a really, it's I mean, it's a jaw-droppingly beautiful place. Um, it's, a, it's a really good place to do that. And so you can just go there for the summer and, and take your boat out for fishing or whatever the fuck and, and have a nice summer. Cool. GIS room. Yeah, sorry. I don't know. It's just hear, hearing hearing Milton, dude. Milton is like such, it really is such a small shithole. Hearing Mil Milton name dropped in the middle of my stream really caught me off guard. Uh, anyways, great. Let's go back to Jackie Singh. She does not. Let's be clear. Jackie Singh does not live in Destin, one of the most beautiful cities in the entire country. De Jackie Singh lives in Milton, which is a shithole next to Baghdad in Florida. Okay, I want I want to make this clear. Um, while the police were there, I've been struggling since that time to get back on my feet. I rented an apartment in Pensacola, Pensacola for three months. And I was, dude, I don't know why everyone in Pensacola gets so happy when they hear, um, Pensacola name dropped. <laughs> it's like, I'm from there. I know that shithole. <laughs> um, I was too afraid to ask him to close and threaten my life. Certificate of completion. Jackie Stokes have completed parenting and divorce and V6, a four <laughs> Parent education and family stabilization program. A divorce statistics, the stages of grief and divorce, developmental stages of childhood and how divorce affects children, communicating with children during divorce, communicating with your other parent during and after divorce, how to separate adult business from children business, conflict avoidance strategies during divorce, 
domestic violence, child abuse and divorce, legal matters of divorce, financial matters of divorce with children, resources for divorced parents. She got a certificate for this. Good job. I'm sure that practical knowledge came in use in her life, and she applies that every day moving forward. Her total assets are $2,820, and her liabilities are 53 Oh, she has an account with Navy Federal. That's nice. Uh, her liabilities are $53, and they're only on the Navy Federal credit card. Um, but that's not true, because as we've established, uh, she owes the IRS a fuck ton of money. Her Discover card has uh, $11,000, which she did not declare. Her City card has $13,000 on it, which she did not declare. Her American Express Platinum Delta Sky Miles credit card, that sounds familiar, um, has 16,000 miles on it, which she did not declare. And her Bank AmeriCard, and I thought that was an edit that said AmeriTard at first, but it says AmeriCard. Um, and this has $28,000 on it. I need to do the, the Caleb Hammer voice. You have so much time. You're going to die in poverty. Jackie. Jackie. You're going to die in Milton on the Walmart floor. Jackie. <laughs> Uh, cool. Excellent. Real voice. <laughs> That's a lot of debt. That's not even including your IRS debt. So, uh, what happens between the, um, IRS and you is a mystery to all. So we'll never know. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.